Lindsay Janis has been watching the storm from Puerto Rico and we watched that pass right by you Lindsay so glad that you are standing there this morning. Thanks so much, Ginger. Puerto Rico was battered by Hurricane Irma. We had winds here in San Juan up to 70 miles per hour, debris flying through the air, trees down, widespread power, power outages, but it has been nowhere near the total destruction seen in other parts of the Caribbean, where at least 10 people are dead this morning and dozens more injured. This is what the Caribbean is waking up to this morning. Utter devastation as 185 mile per hour winds tore through St. Martin, an island paradise decimated. This resort near the airport now buried under shattered glass, parts of the ceiling scattered on the floor. Justin Cummings capturing it all. Uh, when we woke up this morning, these glass shards had gone through a lot of the walls. On GMA Wednesday, we met a group of American fitness instructors on vacation. They spoke to us as water poured through their villa. The flooding is kind of amazing because the wind and rain are just bringing it through the sliding doors. This morning, they tell us they're happy to have survived the night. It's, you don't want to be in the middle of this. It, you, we left our hotel room yesterday and just the amount of damage is, is horrible. These newlyweds were forced to spend their honeymoon in their hotel bathroom. We've got the wind going about 100 miles per hour. You can really hear it outside. Shaking the doors. Although the hotel says everyone is safe, their families say they're worried because they've yet to hear from them. On the tiny island of Barbuda, officials reporting at least 90% of structures damaged. What we experience is like something you see in a horror movie. At least 60% of the island's 1,400 residents now homeless. The extent of the deaths and injuries still unknown. Here in Puerto Rico, where nearly a million people are without power, the storm sending debris flying all over the streets. The head of the power company here says it could be months before some parts of this island get power restored. We spoke with two members of the Justice Department this morning. They told us of the U.S. territories, St. Thomas and St. Croix fared the worst, so they're looking now at whether they need additional response teams deployed there. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.